Hey, what's up? My name is Caleb. I'm a full-time reseller. If you've been following the channel, you know that I recently had a crazy vintage hat haul at a garage sale with my friend. Today, I'm going to clean up some of the more expensive hats that were worth cleaning up. Um, so I just want to show you guys the process of how I'm going to do it. A shout out to Premium32 Vintage. I watched his video on YouTube to kind of get a baseline of how to clean some of these hats because I was really worried about uh, damaging some of these expensive hats. Uh, but I'll show you what I'm going to do and we'll see how they turn out. These are the hats I'm going to be cleaning up. This is a, a Raven's Diamond a logo athletic hat as you can see there's like dirt and dust like embedded into the fabric there and just some staining and just needs freshened up for sure uh, in perfect conditions like a 150 dollars hat so definitely worth it and here's everybody's favorite shark tooth uh, this one's obviously for the colts same kind of thing uh, because it's white you can really see the discoloration and see the dust and dirt just uh, jammed in there here we have a band logo jacksonville jaguars hat this has like a big dart mark on the top and then this bill is like very discolored and dusty i don't know if that's coming through on camera here we have a really cool raiders hat this has some like discoloration on the logo here and also just has that kind of like dirt and dust all throughout and same story with these last two um you can see on these lighter colored bills that there's just dirt really jammed in there so this is everything i'm going to use i'm near my bathtub to get cold water i have this plastic tub have some dawn dish soap some uh, stain remover oxyclean i have a brush I have some gloves because last time I tried this, it chewed up my hands. And then I have this towel that I'm going to set them on uh, once I rinse them off. So it's really important to use cold water because we don't want these colors uh, bleeding into each other. I'm going to start with the white hats first because I want the water to be the freshest when I'm doing those ones. So I'm going to put a little bit of cold water in here with some of the detergent and with some of the Dawn dish soap. So what I'm gonna do is this is made up of different panels. I'm just gonna go into each panel individually because then I'll know that I hit the whole hat. Okay, once we got it scrubbed up, now I'm gonna rinse it off with cold water. All right, so here we have the clean hats. I'm going to move these outside and put a fan on them to speed up the drying process. So I brought the hats outside to get some fresh air. I'm gonna try to make sure they're in as nice of a shape as possible as they dry, but I can touch it up later if it's not perfect. And then I also have this little battery powered fan. This uses one of these uh, yard tool batteries and I'm going to put this on it as well to just speed up the process. I'm here in my light box and you know after washing sometimes you get these little loose strings i don't know if you can see that but what i use are these fabric scissors they're really really sharp and they're really small so you can cut it uh, without making a mess or you know doing more damage than good so it's the next day and last night i went outside grabbed all the hats they were dry brought them inside and just put them nicely so that they you know held their shape and turns out all of them held their shape really well so i didn't have to do any reshaping which is really nice i do want to say if you do need to reshape it um, one really nice thing you can do is actually fill it with like plastic grocery bags because they can hold the shape but you can kind of form it to the shape that you want and then however it dries is kind of the shape it's going to hold and you can also make it hold even stronger with adding starch uh, there's plenty of videos on youtube you can check out if you do need to reshape the hats but i did come back to exactly where i showed you the original condition of all the hats and i'm going to show you guys the current condition and you guys can see how we did so here's the raven's diamond as you can see uh, that dust that was embedded into this one is all gone and this one is looking flawless even the headband cleaned up really nicely the only spot that didn't quite come out is this little spot on the bottom of the bill but i don't think that'll be a huge problem same thing with this colt's shark tooth when i showed you guys this last time there was just dust and dirt embedded into that light colored part and now it's nice and clean the bill on this one came out perfect which is amazing the mark on the top didn't fully come out. It did get a lot lighter. I bet it would come out with another wash or if I soaked it a little bit longer, but I didn't really want to mess with the colors running on that. So I think that's all I'm going to do with that one. Same thing with this Raiders hat. This little discoloration there didn't come out, but the whole entire thing uh, looks way just brighter. The black is darker and deeper and the gray is lighter and brighter, which is perfect. Uh, this was just super dirty and dusty and now it's nice and clean. Unfortunately, that little stain, I couldn't get it out. But once again, 
again, I didn't want to mess with the colors running using hot water or anything too crazy, so I just let it be. And these last two, the bills were absolutely disgusting, and the bills cleaned up beautifully on these. The Falcons has near flawless. This is a sports specialty uh, script, which is a really awesome hat. On this one, the side logo and the back logo still have that kind of, some of that yellowing discoloration, but it's a lot better than it was. And the bill, like I said, and the front turned out really nicely. So I still think we improved uh, the quality of this one a ton just by what we did. I already went to my photo booth, got all these photographs. I'm gonna pop up all the pictures that are gonna be the default picture for all these listings. And you guys can see how they're gonna look when I go to list them. I flip items online for a profit as my full-time job. If you wanna follow along in my journey or learn how to do it yourself, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.